items today when I was in the Hearthskin Head cable station at the 150th anniversary. The cable landing there and uh, basically had the Lamech Radio Ham Fest. There's also the RAC General Meeting happened there today. Uh, I never got any video of the inside of the building. There's just so many people there and uh, a lot of the legal stuff nowadays. Nobody wants their pictures taken or video or anything else so I didn't bother with it but uh, I'll probably go back to the cable station at a later date and do a uh, do better video or do a video inside the uh, museum. But anyways, uh, just want to show George. If anything else, a couple of items there I got at the uh, at the swap meet I guess there today. I managed to get this big, humongous tuning capacitor there today. We got her for like five bucks. She is humongous quite big. Give me an idea the size of it. Here's a can of Pepsi I just opened. <laughs> yep. Yeah. She's a bit uh, she's a bit big. Um, it's similar to the one that's in 986. Only instead of the 986 uses two capacitors on the same system basically. But this one just got the single got the single sys set up on it. Slater and Statter. So, I'm uh, planning to build an antenna tuner. So I got the, the big old badass capacitor to, for the job. And uh, I've also got a roller inductor that I also got for this new antenna tuner I'm going to build. Um, she's going to be quite big by the looks of it. That's going to, when she's sitting in her box, Yep, she's uh, she's gonna be a bit high. She's actually, <laughs> yeah, it's a big cap. So I'll uh, show you the roller inductor there now, and uh, it's gonna be interesting little video I'm gonna put together for this one. I'm gonna build the antenna tuner, basically the same way that I rebuilt the 986. As you remember, the 96 is no longer a 986 at the inside. She's completely rebuilt to a different design altogether. And it actually works compared to what was in this that don't work. So I'm building another tuner, exact same sort of way. Anyways, show you the uh, roller inductor now. Alright, and this here is the roller inductor that I picked up today at the uh, swap me as well. I can't say I've seen this kind of a setup before. Obviously it's for isolation so you don't fry yourself when you're tuning this coil. So obviously this thing was meant for high power. And uh, yep, she seems to work okay. She got a bit of a split back here. I didn't notice it. But I think we'll manage. Not last chance I'll get a piece of... Uh, Heavy uh, fiberglass board and put back here, replace it with fiberglass. But other than that, she's a good tuner, or a roller doctor, I should say. The uh, wheel seems to run smoothly for the most part. And they've got wrote down 24, so 24 UH. So that's going to be the basically the uh, the brains of the tuner, the roller inductor to go with the big capacitor. And uh, stand up on its end. This will give you an idea of the size of this roller inductor. Roughly the same size as a can of Pepsi for the most part. So not overly big, but I think it'll do fine. We'll see how it works out. Now I just want to show you these couple of things. Uh, I got one more item at the swap meet and I want to show you, but it'll be on a separate video. Anyways, all the best. Thanks for watching. 
and uh, yeah I can't wait to get this uh, tuner going it'll be interesting to see how this is going to work out <laughs> anyways chat in a bit boys